Chat. Also, chat, we can see you. I hope you're having a good time. Let me know who you want to see. One's in the chat for Suarez, two in the chat for the Nintendo World Champion himself, John Numbers, as we start things off here on Small Battlefield. The fact that this started off on Small Battlefield, I don't think bodes well for the remainder of the set because I know it's going to be a very volatile play based off of who holds center stage. Get off you an egg in this trying time. I can't believe I didn't use that. <laughs> Well done, Puppet Master. All right, so uh, as we start things off here, a big part of what Suarez is be looking for, he wants that F tilt so he can keep, uh, he, so you can keep numbers at disadvantage. But he also knows numbers wants to jump quite a bit to make sure he's not finding him on the ground. So these short hop dares are actually pretty good to make sure numbers gets hit big. But my God, getting hit so hard there. You know, no, Weepa doesn't have the best combos in the world, but when she does string stuff together with deep breathing, it hurts. I feel like it's also worth mentioning a number we've seen out of Numbies multiple times so far. That's Low key, maybe one of the most dangerous buttons in this entire matchup is We Fit Trainer's up tilt. A frame five option where the arm that juts out is intangible. Yeah, it looks so weird too. I'm telling you, man. I told somebody earlier. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna test that out. I'm gonna drop. So I'm gonna drop a block on someone that looks like Kirby's block and see if it actually wins out IRL. You think that'll work? Mm. I bet. I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and have you try it because my boys are currently dying out here. Do you take constructive criticism? I uh, no. <laughs> So, uh, Suarez is currently thriving at 179, trying to find the command guard, which actually would have been great there, but Numbers still just struggling to find the kill right now. On one hand, there may be a struggle, not when Up Air has something to say about it, but on the other hand, it's Numbers playing a very methodical game where he knows he'll find his kill. Mm -hmm. He just needs to continue his game plan because he has no problem building up the damage, and in a lot of these situations, he's forcing Suarez to come to him. Unfortunately for numbers, Suarez on the hunt is able to find that kill, even up the stock count before the bleeding gets too heavy. Yeah, this match is actually so funny to watch overall because numbers is one of the best reverse edge guarders in the world, much like so. And Suarez is going to want to go off there to hunt him down. He's going to be doing exactly that. But you can't fight numbers off stage too much because his eyes like see red. That's when he starts seeing, oh, I have a win con on deck. I can spike you with one of my seven spikes I got between header, back hit a forward air, down air, you name it. Yeah, there's a lot in the tank for numbers to make offstage play go disastrous for anyone who wants to tango with him. But, as I stated earlier in the pre-talk, Suarez has fought off against numbers many times. He's very aware of what numbers is capable of. Yep. And you better believe he's gotten these lessons beaten into him multiple times. That's the big key, making sure that you remember exactly why you've been struggling. Oh! Reading out the match and numbers not going to make it back off of that. Just enough to be able to close that out. That's what it looks like when you fight someone multiple times. <laughs> yeah, it became, we you reach that like roommate read learn section. And learn. Where everybody, like, everybody else is seeing the habits. Oh, no. Untackable situation there is going to come in for Suarez. Not exactly the biggest fan of that situation, but it's in the game. We got to hold that. Hey, listen, when you get your knockback boosted to that high of a level from all of the buffs that she's carrying, mm -hmm. at that high of a percentage, you gotta hold that. That's just how it goes. Oh, the numbers is so lucky. That's why I missed space that first one. Not that you would have died in that spot and by any means. Oh wait, I think Suarez is starting to get a, a bit of a bit of reads now on where the headers are coming out. You saw he kind of went underneath. Oh, speaking of the read on the headers, let me go ahead and drop my head on top of your dome piece real quick. The forward air coming out, catching numbers, trying to stall off stage, and that's why Yoshi is so good at catching We Fit for deciding to stay off stage for too damn long. Like, one of the things that Suarez has to not just make use of, but abuse is how quickly Yoshi can get from location to location in the air. Normally, that's a safe haven for numbers. He has time to gather deep breathing, sun salutation, set the perfect angle for header ball. He doesn't have that luxury in this mm. matchup if Suarez knows when to go in on him. Bro, that forward air offstage is like the rudest greeting I've ever seen. Like, hi, how are you doing? Uh, let me go. Let me talk to you quick. Wait, where are you going? All right, getting into the next game here. Already looking pretty good for Suarez off the rip, making sure that he capitalized pretty big on a couple of deep edge guards. And taking that first game away, where numbers is definitely solid in terms of going reverse edge guards, but stalling a little bit too much with those headers, actually getting cooked quite a few times. Now, don't count out numbers just yet. No. Even though he is very stubborn for moving from his position of zoning, 
he is very ready and willing to fight with you on stage. And it's looking like the kind of situation that Suarez is going to end up forcing if he keeps on playing aggressive at the ledge. Yeah, those those up tilts you were talking about before, too. With uh, uh, with Yoshi wanting to near out a shield as often as possible, those up tilts are so good at checking. But look at these air-to-air -air trades. Actually, not even air-to-air. It's just like the air-to-air -air wins from numbers. Recognizing Yoshi and Suarez, he wants to swing out of disadvantage really bad. I think Suarez is looking for a run-up shield to bait maybe a, a falling nair or something there. Either way, though, looking deep, trying to find a couple of egg tosses off the top numbers is gonna die. Oh, oh. no, he actually aired out the way. Good resource usage there. A lot of eggs to forward the charge against numbers, I think is brilliant from Suarez, but not finding the right hit at the right time. It gives numbers enough time to boost himself up, potentially find the reversal, but he misses the mark on the header ball. Yeah, and he still had it right in front of him, too, because of the jab. Forward throw with deep breathing won't kill, but you get the... Oh! I knew you were going to jump for days. Doesn't get the hit. We're looking for an F tilt to off-air confirm right now. It's still slight wheelie within range, but... Oh! Now it's, it's, right it's out definitely of the within air. range now, because that range is gone. Looking for the hit of back air. Back air would almost certainly kill, but Great DI has something else to say. Oh, staying alive just a little bit longer out there from those egg tosses, but does find the hit where he needs it. He knew John Numbers was going to get aggressive in that spot. He was right at the ledge, probably going to go for a header. Wins out on the trade there. There's always, always worth that trade. And now the fight for center stage leads to so much damage in favor of Numbers. Look at how willing he is to swing for all of this free landing space. Yeah, he's keeping up that. He's, he's doing such a good job at it, but... Suarez, all he needs is one good F tilt. We already know. Suarez can get this F tilt, the down air, and that's pretty much Bob. He's going to get closer to an even game. There's the first down air, already 60, goes to 77. There's the first header, there's the stall, there's the jump, and he almost had it covered with the back air. You saw he was waiting for all of his resources to be done before he finally pulled the trigger. The drag down back air confirming the fair, and Suarez is going to take the lead. And I love the approach to the offstage play that kept the pressure on, but didn't commit Suarez to being super close to numbers. That way, numbers wasn't able to find that important reversal. Exactly, dropping it with his nair. Now, Suarez making sure these reversals don't happen again. He wants numbers to not have a chance at it. Oh, good job trying to catch. Like, he was trying to catch the air dodge down there with the sun salutation, but Suarez fading away. Now, there's his first header. He's got to be forced to recover the ledge. Here comes the egg toss, trying to catch the two frame. Doesn't get it, but that time, uh, it looks like numbers is actually playing a little bit more grounded compared to before. He doesn't want to play in the air when he doesn't have his buffs. Otherwise, none of the hits that he gathers are going to be important because he knows he needs to wait for back air in order to confirm the kill. And now you've got even stocks, 54% and lessening on numbers. It's worth noting those little bits of percentage he heals off every time he throws out yep. some salutation. That matters, man. When you're at kill confirms later and you're just out of range because numbers has been healing this whole time, it may not seem like much, but 2% here and there, it adds up. And that 10% difference is huge. But Suarez has to make kill percent. We're near the F tilt range. Oh, okay, never mind. You don't get F tilt. I'm just going to run up and grab you real quick. Some salutation into header ball to try and get another obtuse angle. I love numbers' manipulation of his projectiles because it covers so much active space. Ooh. Not enough to cover right there, getting red on the roll. He keeps neutral getting up in front of Suarez, like the bravest person in the building. That was almost a shield break. Numbers recognize I might die potentially, but I gotta take this hit. Suarez has gotten so greedy with looking for those shield breaks as of late. But that was the smartest air vertical air touch I've that ever was seen so from him. That was so close to death. Like, oh no! Going all the way off stage. You don't really have many stalls left. Tries to go for a near, but he doesn't get it. That up air just missed. That would have killed. All right, deep breathing time. This is the perfect opportunity for numbers to find the reversal. Still alive for a little bit longer. Forced to recover high. That, that's now two stalls. The air dodge is gone. Oh, gets the back air. Solid check. Why did you go for that? He snapped the ledge, but it worked. And he gets and the nair. And nair it just like that. We've got game two going in favor of Suarez. This is completely against the record book, Sage. Yeah. History I not trying to repeat itself today. I thought he was going for like a suicide Yoshi bomb there, but he was within range to get the snap the ledge. And then recognizing, I know for a fact that you were going to try. Look at <laughs> Yoshi's pissed, bro! Yo, Yoshi out here look like Bruce Lee with a what the hats coming in with that nair. What an incredible play. I had no idea that he knew Jeet Kune Do. That's a very scary <laughs> thought. But let's see what happens here. Suarez up two games.
to zero. And what a different set of events right now compared to the history books, like you said. The stats, wait, actually, let me not say that. If I say the stats don't always line up, Jackie Peanuts is going to come find me. <laughs> You best hope Mr. Peanuts isn't watching because when you look at a set like this, you have to take into consideration a lot of factors. And I think one thing that's really important mm -hmm. for the previous two games that's brought us here is we're still on small battlefield and Suarez has been deliberately approaching numbers off stage from below. Mm -hmm. He's saving his jump so that he can go with rising aerials around the space that he has to worry about from header. That's a matchup knowledge. You have to know that you you know that the stall is coming at some point. The header or the sun or, or the deep breathing. It's always going to happen. So conditioning John to think it's safe is huge. All trying to catch the air dodge or push him away would have been a very bad spot. As we see here, forcing him to go low and just committing to sun salutation. Now we're seeing a very similar thing to game one where numbers had a hard time closing out the stock. To be fair, it is Yoshi trying to take full advantage of armor and being heavy, but it, all of those factors aren't enough to stave off Numbers hunting you down at 188%. Oh, and Suarez has caught on to Numbers' roll-in habit so much. He he rolls in a lot out of tech chase. And that is like the third tap. Oh, gets he up there. Not enough to kill. That's a first stall. Where does he go for the wait? Wait. That was really good wait on that air dot. Doesn't matter, though. He gets the back air, and Suarez even to back up. It's just been an absolute neck and neck battle, but I feel like in the end, Suarez has been picking up on a lot more of Numbers' habits than Numbers has been adjusting from his play. He is leaning more into the aggressive play, which I do think is keeping the set competitive, but Suarez picking up on those little habits in the air and on the ground is making this current game look like it's going to lean in favor of Suarez. Yeah, and Suarez eventually is going to capitalize on that neutral getup. I, I've said it before, but the amount of neutral getup and getup attack, Numbers doesn't care. He just keeps getting up from ledge like it means nothing and Suarez just keeps missing those upbeats by a little bit well let's see if he can uh, work his way in as we continue to push him towards the ledge just trying to take very safe bets while swinging but numbers is being very particular with the buttons that he's pressing with mostly header right now because he's not finding any strong hits off of his normals and he has not had a chance to fight on the stage Suarez has done a surprisingly good job of locking him down at the ledge and while Numbies is typically comfortable at the ledge, it's on his terms that he's comfortable at the ledge, yeah. not when he's pressured to it. That's what I was saying. Numbers has to fight in center stage in this matchup. You can't camp the ledge because so, uh, Yoshi can just fight you so well out there. And there's a reverse edge guard attempt. He does get back in and uses the volley on the way back up to cover himself to make sure he doesn't get hit by an error. Fair. That was extremely smart. Catches the sun salutation, but once again, super heavy here and not dying. <laughs> like Su Suarez is just running so well with every stock. He refuses to give them up. I mean, the pressure's on. This is, Again, this is the other side of Loser's 8s, and right now, it's on board to be the first 3-0 of this top 8. Coming out here, trying to change his 3, like you said, he may be down before, but he's not out in this bracket yet, which means he has an opportunity to get the W on Numbers. He's up 174. Numbers just needs one good straight hit. Right now, trying to find the falling up air. Forced off stage. Oh, I thought he was going to fare him right there, but the off is going to come in and stop it. Yeah, that's still free damage. Any hits you're getting at 197 is just free percentage leading into your next stock because you're coming in here on a clean stock and you have your opponent already pressured. These platforms have just been a safe haven for Suarez game after game and Numbers hasn't done a thing to stop that. Absolutely. Coming back in with the Yoshi Bomb right now and Numbers, oh wait, couple up tilts. He tried to read the air dodge down. He missed out on the dash attack. He does get the reversal sun salutation though and he kept himself safe somewhat with the header. However, almost got red on that new, uh, on that neutral get up on the platform. Or the second place. Go right over to the ledge. Those forwarders at the ledge are so dangerous. My boy is swinging. He, he has not a thought process in that brain. The, 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 the safety net that tells you don't smash your head against the floor is gone. Suarez is fighting ghosts and numbers, catching himself off stage, forcing him to go low. That header keeping himself safe. It's been a whole lot of forward air because Numbers has recklessly put himself at the ledge in a position where Suarez is on the hunt. And look at all the damage that Suarez has found, practically all right, all right. only using Nair in forward air. <laughs> all right, I gotta be real with you. Now I make that joke about smashing your head against the controller for the big green button. That's literally what's happening right now. But you're right, it's working because of the fact that you're making sure Numbers doesn't jump up off ledge. And he finds it, and that one's gonna get the hit. And that's Numbers going down here in a 3-0 with Suarez taking it and moving on and the Long Island boys stay strong. 
Numbers is going to be falling at seventh, but it was a very hard fought battle for Suarez to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Let's go, John. Let's Both go, John. Both of them named John, by the way, if anybody's confused. But what an incredible set right there. Two games already off the rip, and those were matches that we, we like, Suarez is somebody you regularly expect to get in top eight. Numbers is somebody who is such a menace to society <laughs> when he gets to you in top eight because usually everybody ends up having a struggle time dealing with that Wii Fit. But Suarez taking it out 3-0. And speaking of three, we're going to go to a very quick three-minute ad break. So, but before we do that, we're going to talk about a couple people, of course, who are here today yes, giving sir, us yes, that sir. support. If Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm ahead of production. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm get. I'm currently getting scolded by Devin. I'm so sorry. Hey, who moved the camera? What happened? Why am I all the way over here? <laughs> I guess we gotta move it along. We gotta move it along. We're gonna, we gonna shimmy. We're gonna shimmy. Aaron is. <laughs> we work together. Uh, musical chills out here. But again, make sure. Like, again, thank you so much for everybody who's currently in the chat. And